We're going to talk about parallax, which is a an absolutely critical problem in astronomy, and that problem is how do you find the distance to very distant stars? When you look at the night sky, you see nothing of distance. Uh, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, they all look like they're on a globe surrounding us. You have no appreciation, no sense at all of the different distances they are. In fact, human beings looked at the sky for centuries, tens, hundreds of centuries, without beginning to learn that. It was not until the late part of the 1800s that we could finally figure out using parallax and a, a bunch of other methods what d actual distances were. So we want to pick one of those methods that's going to be parallax. We want to talk about that and we want to talk about how it works and what it does and it's going to be representative of many many different ways that astronomers have of finding distance. Parallax depends on the fact that a, a star that's stationary will appear to move due to the Earth's moving in its orbit as we watch it against the distant background of stars. And this diagram shows that really nicely. Imagine that the Earth is over here. We're looking at it in, uh, let's start in January. The Earth is on this side of the sun. Six months later, the Earth moves over to, to this position in July. And the star will look like it's changed its position. In January, we see it lined up against some background stars that are way up in here. Six months later, we look at it from a different direction, and it looks like it's lined up against some different background stars. By the time we've gone back uh, one year, it'll be the sun. The star will appear to be back in the same position. The star has never moved; it's only reflecting the Earth's changing position. And we define, just by the way it's been defined, the parallax angle right here, which is how much the star appears to move in a period of three months. Okay, and so we can look at that and think about what that's like. And so let's let's take a look at what that would actually look like. And here's January, and we see the star, um, this the big pink blob is showing what the star is, and all the background stars that are much much further away are shown by all the other other points of light here. And the stars over here, as we look at it from the left part of our orbit, as we get to the right part of our orbit, it's moved over here. So this shift in position would be twice the parallax angle. And we can think of, so the parallax angle measured in arc seconds would be half the length of that of that arrow. What's the relationship that we use to work with this? Well, the relationship is a very simple one. The distance to the star in parsecs is given by 1 over the parallax angle. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're not going to derive this, although it's really easy to derive why it's true. It comes from simple geometry. This parallax angle has got to be measured in arc seconds. And if that's the case, this will be measured in parsecs. Okay? What is a parsec? Well, um, it's how far a star is if it has a parallax angle of one arc second. That doesn't tell us very much. But uh, it turns out that when you actually work it out, it comes out to be about 205,000 astronomical units. Or you can al you also know that one parsec is equal to uh, 3.26 light years. So we know how to convert it to other units, including miles and kilometers and anything else we'd want to work with. But this is the equation that's important to us now and that we want to we want to focus on. Um, how does it work? Well, if we looked at a at a star that had a parallax angle of uh, of a let's just say it's a third of an arc second, so P A is going to be equal to uh, one third arc second. We put it in this equation that would tell us that the distance is going to be one over one third. One over one third is equal to three, and the units of that will be parsecs. That's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple idea, but it's an important idea. All of the rest of the construction of the of our picture of the universe, all of our understanding about where all stars are, how big our galaxy is, where other galaxies are, how far it is to the edge of the universe, it's all based on this starting geometrical notion of parallax. And it's worth remembering what a parsec means, what, what that name comes from. Um, parsec is written P-A-R-S-E-C, and of course it's got buried within the word Parallax, P-A-R-S-E-C, is going to stand for seconds of arc, uh, the angle. So it's a connection of, of distance to apparent angle that a star appears to move due to the Earth's motion in its orbit.